has inspired me on a private level, especially because when I think back about the time where I was studying music as a violinist, and the work has inspired me to play the violin differently. On a professional level, I must say that her work has inspired me in a very definite way, more than any other approaches working with the human body as a therapist. Uh, what I found so great about her concepts was that she made it very clear she liked to take a stand, a very clear stand, what her own perspective are of the human organism and of human life. But she was always open for new inspiration, for new perspectives. I see that very clear. I have just her book from the 70s. And at the beginning of that book, that's very significant for the thinking of our own, she makes a very, very clear statement that people should not believe in orthodoxy or doctrines. She quotes Buddha, and at the end of that quote, she says, believe when the writing doctrine or saying is corroborated by reason and consciousness. And this is so convincing for me because she left a work which is not focused around an ideology. She left us a work which has to be further developed but respecting the spirit of the founder. There are many dimensions nowadays that make actually the Rolfing method more important and more valuable nowadays in our century than at the day at the days of Ida Rolf, especially because our everyday life loses more and more spontaneous movement. You know, the machines make the life very static. And the Rolfing method gives a chance to everybody to find more dynamic movement in our everyday life and our professional life.